check that video out. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a slight issue I do have in my car. So yesterday I was about to go pick up dinner for the fam and I walked into my car and what do I see? I see my rear view mirror dangling from the freaking connector cord. So today we're going to be attempting to try to put this back together because obviously you can't drive without a rear view mirror. I mean obviously you can but it's a little difficult parking safety wise yet yeah, not very feasible so i'm gonna try to fix it um i honestly don't even know how it broke i don't know what i did but i guess whatever i did it caused the review mirror to break yeah first things first let's get this off and then we'll try to troubleshoot it all right, so now that you got the rear view mirror out, we're gonna take off the Broadway mirror that I installed on the car. Uh, this was like, I installed this pretty much right when I got the car. So this has been, our, been on the car for at least almost two years. So I don't think me even installing this had any like reason for the rear view mirror to, to fall off. Honestly, I do suggest getting you guys one of these. Um, it definitely helps with visibility because the visibility is great with it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get one of these like Allen wrench universal kits. So it does come with a bunch of different sizes in order to take out the metal piece, which is here. So it was actually on the smaller end of the, of the Allen wrench. It's gonna be the second one. So if you do guys have one of these, it's gonna be the second one in the smaller side of the Allen wrench. And then this should automatically loosen up the metal piece that attaches to the window. Honestly, man, I've been having the worst luck lately, especially with my car. First the side mirror, then this thing, and then the spacers wouldn't work. So I don't know what's going on, man. Now that the screw is out, set that aside, and that will automatically loosen up the metal piece. So you don't really need this uh, as of right now, but make sure that you know which way that the metal piece was in before you took it out, because you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose which way, but just in case you guys need a reminder, there's a little wedge on this side. Make sure the wedge side goes in first in the mirror. So when you guys are installing that back together, make sure you guys are putting it back in the right way and make sure you guys are sticking the flat surface part back on your window. So now that you pretty much got the metal piece, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna clean this off really good to get the old adhesive off. Um, and I got the adhesive from Permatex specifically for the rear view mirror. But I got this one at O'Reilly's, you can order it off Amazon. Yeah, definitely clean this off. If you do have some sandpaper, that would definitely help. And if you do have a scraper tool, use a scraper tool to take off all of the old has adhesive off of the metal piece. All right, so while I'm trying to clean this off, I'm just curious, what, what do you guys wanna see on this channel? Do you guys wanna see installs? Do you guys enjoy the fashion stuff of this channel? I would say travel, but Obviously we can't travel anywhere right now. Do you guys enjoy shoe content? Do you guys enjoy cruises? So yeah, like if you guys have any ideas or any preferences on what you guys would like to see on this channel, what you guys enjoy watching, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel, man. Like if you guys are enjoying this content, share it with your friends. They have Alexis, tell them that I got some good content coming up. Share on Instagram, tell your grandmas, tell your grandpas, tell your uncles, tell your cousins, tell your sister, tell your brother to your mom, to your dad. So for the most part, I did clean most of the old adhesive off with just the Clorox wipe. We're gonna do that to the interior of the car while we let this dry. So we're pretty much going to be doing is we're going to be pretty much gluing the metal piece back onto the window. Just to be more specific, back onto this black piece right here. There is an outline of where the metal piece was before. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to use that as our marker. I'm gonna get a marker so we can mark that down just so we don't move it over from side to side we need to clean that off first yeah let's mark it now and then we'll clean this off and then we'll get everything going with getting the side mirror back or getting the rear view mirror back because also i need to do my side mirror too Damn. i was actually looking at it if i mark it and then clean it i'm pretty much going to be cleaning the sharpie off so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mark the top part of where the metal piece was supposed to go and then i'm gonna mark the bottom part of where the metal piece was supposed to go so you got top bottom and i'll probably even mark the sides so you do have a good parameter of like okay like this is supposed to be in between bottom and the top lines and then both sides so you do have all your bases covered 
um, just so you're not running into like misplacing the metal piece before sticking it. So now let's clean it and then we'll prep it for adhesive and then let's get this mirror back on. Damn! All right, so I'm in the pass and I'm, I'm in the driver's seat right now. And honestly, it looks pretty sick without, without a rear view mirror, but I won't run it. Um, I'm gonna try to get the majority of it off just because I think cleaning it before actually like gluing and putting it back together, I think is the most important part of pretty much applying any adhesive. I think prepping and getting all the old stuff off is just as important as applying the thing back on. So now that you clean both the surface on your windshield and you clean the metal piece for your, for your actual rear view mirror, we're gonna go ahead and apply the Permatex rear view mirror adhesive. So after you did clean it with some Clorox like we obviously just did, you're gonna wanna wipe it down with this thing. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned the metal piece and the black piece on the windshield one more time with the Clorox wipe. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the cleaner and activator towelette. All right, so pretty cool towelette, man. Looks like a Listerine strip. Just kidding. Let's wipe this on the metal piece and then we will wipe this on the black surface. So don't touch that. It's cleaned with the towelette. All right, apply one drop to the center of the button. All right, adhesive is on. Now I gotta get in a good position and place the button. It's so awkward. I don't even know if it's straight. You're supposed to stay here for like a minute. I'm gonna stay here for two minutes, so just in case to make sure that it sticks. I mean, we're supposed to wait 15 minutes before you apply the mirror back on, but I'm probably gonna wait like an hour just to be safe. Yo, what if I install this the wrong way? Moment of truth. All right, so the button is fully on there. It's a little crooked, but that's not a problem because we can always adjust the mirror just as long as we get this thing on. I don't want to move it. We're going to leave it for now. We're going to let it sit for like 30 minutes. It is five o'clock. I'm going to clean up everything and I'm going to check in with you guys at 5.30. All right guys, so we're back. And like I said, I was gonna wait 30 minutes, but actually waited 45 minutes. So hopefully that's enough time. Honestly, I didn't even look up when I got in the car to see if the button is still there. So this is the moment truth because I'm a little nervous. Ooh, so I'm assuming I cleaned it good enough for the adhesive to stick. So let's place the review mirror back on. It's pretty much just install the mirror back like it was before. There we go. Bada boom, bada bang. So now that the mirror is back on, definitely ain't going anywhere. All right guys, so I'm not even sure if I captured it, but I was trying to, I put everything back. Thought the button was sticky enough. So I went ahead and reinstalled the mirror, you know, just like normal, like what you're supposed to do. Um, put the bracket back, which is what hides the wires. And I was like, all right, it's the ultimate test. Let me try to adjust the mirror to see if it sticks. And right as I was just about to adjust it, it fell. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off the button again. I'm clean off the inside of the car and reinstall the adhesive. Um, but this time I'm gonna leave it overnight. So I'm gonna leave the car inside. I'm gonna let the button stick to the adhesive overnight, see if that works. I left it for 45 minutes. I thought that was gonna be good enough, but I guess not. So we'll leave it overnight. We'll see if that works and then we'll check back in in the morning. So. Let me get this done and I'll check back with you guys tomorrow morning, so. All right guys, so it is now the next morning, bright and early. We have to do a smog check today, but before that, we gotta make sure the mirror is, fi is fixed. I haven't even checked on it yet. Let's actually go check on it right now. So the button is still there. I'm not gonna touch it because I don't wanna mess it up. So now let's go get the mirror. Moment of truth, let's see if it fixes it. So I'm gonna do my best to try to be as careful as I can 
as gentle as I can without messing anything up. So I'm gonna put everything back on like it normally should so I don't have to touch anything. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Mirror is back into place. So the only thing I didn't do was I didn't put this bracket piece back because I'm a little nervous that it might cause tension and cause the button to fall again. But other than that, I think this should allow me to go at least get my smog done. <sighs> Thank goodness it worked. I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you guys updated if it does end up falling again, which I'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't happen, but yeah, let's go, let's go. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel down below. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right guys, so you guys probably thought that I fixed my mirror, but in fact, I came back and it fell off. So we're gonna, we're on our way right now to an auto glass shop so they could fix it. Um, Cause I tried it twice and that didn't work. So I'm assuming if I try it again, it's gonna be the same result so might as well have the professionals take care of it so we're on our way there right now and then hopefully this fixes it all because I'm tired of this BS. Alright guys so we are now in the shop it take about 30 45 minutes. Alright guys so we finally made it home from the shop and it's been a couple hours I let the car sit for at least an hour and a half maybe two hours and the mirror is actually holding up pretty good so I don't know if it was the heat that made the adhesive just not want to stick anymore or whatnot but so far so good i'll keep you guys updated within the next few videos on whether or not it is coming off or if it's staying so and also i'm providing updates on my instagram so if you haven't followed me on instagram this is my instagram right here make sure you follow this one this is where i post all my car car content as well as other content for the channel so make sure you follow this instagram so you guys can get an uh, update on all the content if i'm not posting on youtube